Media Network. Steps back in the pocket. Goes the home run ball, deep middle mark. Over the shoulder with a catch. Nick Marsh at the 10 yard line of Maryland. Angles to the right pylon. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, MSU. Lightning in a bottle. Aiden Childs with the home run ball to the young Nick Marsh. Auto Owners Insurance presents the Jonathan Smith Show. Tonight's show is sponsored by Auto Owners Insurance. Simple human sense. And by the MSU Federal Credit Union. Spartan fans dream big with MSU Federal Credit Union. Meyer, the official grocer of Michigan State Athletics. One North Kitchen and Bar, making good times great. Dean Trailways, the official ground transportation provider of Spartan Athletics. Make Dean Trailways your favorite ride. The Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, Race Hope and Foster Dreams. Start your journey to becoming a foster parent today at michigan.gov slash hope for a home. McLaren, official orthopedics and sports medicine partner of Michigan State Athletics. And by Coors Light, Mountain Cold Refreshment. Choose chill. Now with head coach Jonathan Smith, here's Will Teeman. Well, it's Wednesday night, Spartan Nation, and you know what that means. This is the Coach Jonathan Smith Show presented by Auto Owners Insurance. And we're here today live at One North Kitchen and Bar in Lansing. And for the people in here, you already know the fun and excitement that happens. But the people that are listening on their screen, if you want to be part of this audience and join the coaches show at this show or any of the other coaches show, make sure you make your reservation by emailing Caleb at OneNorthDining.com. And without further ado, welcome, you guys. Welcome, Spartan Nation, to the Coach Jonathan Smith Show. So today we're going to have fun. We're going to have energy. And for the people streaming and listening, your eyes and your ears are not deceiving you. I am not George Blaha, and I am not Jason Str- <laughs> I- I'm not uh, Will Teeman. I am J.U. Kalkrick. have the privilege to uh, be co-host with Coach Smith today. Yeah, it's good to have you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. You know, this. Is, you know, you get your first big break, and this is, you know, this is it here. Oh, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know. I want to first of all for everyone in the in the audience here this microphone right here it's not just for for looks over there if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to step right up and uh, ask coach uh, or myself you know some questions uh, you know we're big game coming up on on Friday night at home Purdue uh, under the lights uh, we're gonna get more into that um, as we get going coach um, but um we're going to talk a little bit about the Illinois game as sure. well, you know, yeah, sure. take a look at that game, but uh, what are some thoughts so far? Well, it's, you know, looking forward Friday night, it sounds like maybe historic game, right? Night game in this month of November at, at Spartan stadium. So looking forward to kind of what that is. And it's another opportunity for us to go out. We still got a bunch to play for. Um, and I know our guys are, are looking forward to that. Could had a good week. You know, short week, but good week in regards to preparation, understanding the challenge that we've got and what's in front of us and the potentials, because we do. We need to bounce back from a tough one uh, last weekend uh, in really all three phases. Some some good, but a lot of, lot to do better at and give some credit to, to Illinois. It's a good football team that's seven and three. You got to play well to beat good teams, and we didn't play well enough. Yeah, and uh, a couple of things you talk about execution and stuff, and you know I want to go to uh, the the special team side of things. Yeah, and uh, you know one of one of my questions that that's been lingering for years now. You know when I played special team uh, on the punt formation, yeah, it was that tight punt formation that you see in the NFL right now. But teams have gone away to that more of a spread punt. What's the reasoning behind that? Yeah, some of the logic when you spread people out uh, in a spread formation punt, if you're punting the ball, is really for coverage, right? So more guys that are wider from the formation have more access to get down the field quicker. There can be problems with that, though, and you look into protection, right, if they overload the box and don't cover down and things. But that's some of the logic when you you spread guys out so that you can you can go and cover. And you get some unique, way more unique formations and things in college than you do – the National Football League. The NFL has tighter rules on on special teams and what you're allowed to do and whatnot. 
But in college, you you do. You get a lot of different formations. You get unbalanced. You got detached. There was even one a couple of weeks ago where there's just a single snapper, and everyone else was spread out in a punt formation. Because, again, if you're returning the ball, you got to cover down. You want to make sure guys are getting blocked or they're covered, right, because you got to you know defend a fake. And so some of that, as a punt formation, you're trying to create stress on the on the opponent, not just taking all the stress of having to having to protect. And so we've done the same thing. We've done a couple of different formations punt uh, wise, whether we're, you know, a couple of the gunners are over, we're in unbalanced formation. Sometimes you'll see two guys kind of what they describe as the shield in front of the punter. Sometimes we've had had three. You see way more like rugby or roll punt in college ball. Right. So, you know, roll to one way to to kick it or kick cross kick it. There's even logic of not even just putting the ball with depth and, you know, a lot of hang time. Sometimes you're going to put the ball on the ground so it rolls so they can't set up their, their return. There's a lot that goes into it. I, you know, I think about us against Illinois, our coverage actually was pretty solid because we just did not get the type of hang time we were anticipating. You know, Eckley's, you know, he's got a big time lead he's, leg and he's had a good year, but our hang time was not great against Illinois. And so when the, the more time and space that returner has with the ball makes it tough to, to get him on the ground immediately. And they, they had some hidden yardage uh, this last week against us. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. So for the for that spread, is it a lot easier for to execute fakes in the tighter punt formation or the spread? Right. You know, <laughs> I probably could go 50-50. It's the type of fake you're running, right? You, if you're on a more spread out formation, can your punter throw the ball? Um, if they cover down in wide, you know, spread formation, is it almost like uh, offensive plays a lighter box in there defender wise to be able to? to run it, you know, the tighter formation, exactly who has the ball, the tighter the formation, you've got a little bit of shield back there and the direct snap to the shield versus going to the punter. So you can run run fakes out of, out of both, I'd say. Yeah. So uh, we're taking a look back here um, at the Illinois game uh, from this past uh, uh, week here. And uh, we, we, you know, real quick before we jump to break here, um, we battled a lot of injuries in the secondary there, and talk about, a little bit about that next man up mentality. Yeah, we've you know we've had to have it um, because even from you know week one, right? We had a couple of secondary players that were kind of starters, players for us go down. Other guys have stepped up, and now we've gone through the season and and had some you know. Uh, and again, it's a physical game, but guys go down, and then and then you have to step up and go. Uh, Ed Woods has been pretty consistent for us at corner, and he's played throughout, and, and he had another solid game. And the guy Martinez stepping in because when you know Malik Spencer and Chuck Brantley can't can't play and probably won't play again this this week, you do need some other guys to right. step up. Jalen Thompson, true freshman, had a got a lot of good snaps last week of not just learning experience, but he was in the right spot shoot. He almost had a pick, um, and so you kind of need that. Each uh, each season, you're going to need whatever position group kind of gets it. You need the next guy stepping up. Yeah, and uh, I think with uh, more of uh, you know today's game with the way that the, there's the portal opportunities and everything, guys are going to get a lot of opportunities to play and play early. Yeah, there's going to be opportunities. You want to have a competitive. This is a physical game. You never know how the the ball will bounce, and you need to have some depth on your roster at at all positions. Because, like I say, you just don't know what position. Uh, is going to be needed to have that depth in week three, four, nine, ten. And uh, real quick, uh, you know, talk about that uh, the offensive line and, uh, you know, what we have to do to establish more of that run game and protect Aiden. Yeah, both those things we had to do better. We got to run the ball better. We got to protect him better. That wasn't our best output uh, performance last week. You know, they're, they're capable of playing better overhaul. There's plenty of good snaps here or there, but in general, you know, I just look at the sacks, right? We didn't have a sack on defense. They sacked us, I think, five times. Some of those are just immediate, like our protection breakdown. A couple of times, yeah, maybe, you know, are we holding the ball a little too long? Are we needing to separate and get open sooner, right? And, you know, some of that comes into play. But we got to, you know, when we can protect the pass or run the ball, yeah, it makes a lot a lot of things a whole lot better on offense. Yeah, definitely. And, they're, you know, coming from a running back, if the whole line's humming on all cylinders. Oh, yeah, it makes a difference now. <laughs> it oh, absolutely yeah. does. All right, guys, we'll be right back with more of the Auto Owners Insurance Coach Jonathan Smith Show after this on the Spartan Media Network. Oh, yeah. Hey, Dad, did you get a new haircut or something? A new shirt? You're looking good. Uh-uh, what happened? Um, a little fender bender. How little? A few days in the shop little, but thanks to mom and our agent, we've already submitted a claim and can track the status right from the app. Auto owners pays what they owe without any hassle. Hmm, sounds like simple human sense. 
I'm fine, by the way. Oh, yeah, I, I was going to ask. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. Hey, got one more, Labatt? Uh, yeah, here you go. Yo, got one more? Sure, um, who are you? Hey, have any more? I'll take one. Got another Labatt? Got one more? How did you all get in my house? Dude, door was open. Heard you had some Labatt. Yeah, in the fridge. Crack some Labatt, make some friends, and see where it takes you. Always enjoy responsibly. Beer, Labatt, USA, Buffalo, New York, all rights reserved. Labatt registered U.S. trademark of Labatt Brewing Company Limited. Do you bleed green? Time to show it. As part of global health care leader Abbott and the Big Ten's We Give Blood Drive competition, you can help make MSU the Big Ten champion of blood donation and save lives in the process. For more information and to find out how you can make your donation count for MSU, please visit BigTen.org slash Abbott or contact Versity or your local blood donation center to sign up for a local upcoming blood drive. When you're a foster parent, you play a lot of roles. Provider, giving a foster child a safe home, healthy meals, and hope. You're always there. You're a cheerleader. Your family. You would do anything for a child in your care. Every day is different. Every need is different. But one of the most impactful roles you can play in life is being a foster parent. See why at michigan.gov slash hope for a home. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. And welcome back. We are live in Lansing for the Jonathan Smith Show, presented by Auto Owners Insurance. From from hunting and fishing to trail riding, nothing tackles Michigan terrains like the KM Defender. If Michigan's your turf, you need this ride on your roster. Visit KNMOffroad.com slash defender to learn more. Can-Am is pride sponsors of Michigan State Athletics. All right, so we're going we're going to talk about uh, you know the player of the week, and this is it's a guy, uh, Aiden Childs. Uh, you know, yeah. he's the guy, coach, that I felt throughout all the season. This game here was his most complete game. In a lot of ways, he continues, yeah, to improve. I look at it, you know, his decisions, taking care of the ball better. Um, any, you know, the way he ran the ball, let's face it, complimenting, you know, what we were getting done in the past game. But for him to be able to, I think he rushed for about 70 yards yep. without the sacks. Um, and, and he's he's continuing to compete. I think the game's beginning to slow down for him. Recognize Recognition of coverage, knowing where, uh, you know, the concept probably, you know, leads to where the ball should go, um, all of that. And so he, he did. He continues to battle out there. Um, had some opportunities offensively even in that second half we start the second half with a scoring drive get the thing within one score you know had a couple opportunities uh, to move the ball there and, and really tie the game um we didn't get done but overall i thought he continued to play and uh, play at a level that you know again we can get everything around him playing at that same type of level we we got the capability to score some score some more points yeah absolutely and i uh, uh aiden was uh, 23 of 40 uh passing for two 256 yards and two touchdowns and he also gained 71 yards on the ground i'm using sunday stats i'm not counting sacks into right. this russian so he had um that and uh you know he's passed for over 250 you know in uh three games you know this season you know career high he had three uh 363 but the thing that really uh that really impresses me about him is some of the throws that he makes because from the outside looking in people don't realize those throws you are a quarterback so yeah. tell people how hard and how tough it is to throw from one hash all the way to the side to the opposite yeah, side he's lines. got the capability to make all those type of throws far hash right from the left hash all the way to the right sideline whether we're going down the field with it intermediate intermediate in the middle of the field where you got to throw it over the linebacker underneath the safety he's got a lot of that i think what he's continuing to grow is the anticipation and seeing when a guy is going to be breaking open and throwing in throwing it into that hole and so there's some growth there you throw in his athleticism and his deep desire for the game how competitive he is i think we've got a chance over the next call it you know 24 months to really you know see a guy come on the stage and be one of the better quarterbacks in the league and again and then i go back to we got to continue to surround him with scheme 
with players playing at that type of type of level, which we're capable of doing. And that's why I'll give him credit too, because this season has been it has plenty of ups downs. The way he's handled it, he's gone back to work. He hasn't started pointing the finger. I mean, there's a lot of expectation, pressure in that position. I do think the way he's handled some of these ups and downs has shown the type of guy and and player and teammate he is. Yeah, you know, you you talk about that, and uh, you know, when he first came in, you know, there was that. You talk about the expectation. One, um, on a college campus, the quarterback is, you know, obviously the most popular guy on the team. Mm -hmm. And then him coming over from, you know, some of the time that he got, you know, in uh, cleanup minutes and, you know, special package that you guys put together for him, you know, last year. And so that, you know, that pressure mounted on how as a as a coach and a former quarterback, can you talk to a guy like that and just be like, hey, you know at the end of the day, it's what's between the lines. Yeah, you know, it's a continuing conversation. And, you know, week in and week out with them, digesting the game, what it looks like, then moving forward, what's the next game look like, kind of where his his head is at. And then during the game, right, there's going to be some some ups and downs, the next series, next play. And not really – not played the position, not letting the previous play affect the next play, especially when it comes to, like, protection. you got to trust those guys in front of you because your eyes need to be in the right spot, not worried about whether we're blocking the three technique or the right tackle – is doing his job. It's more, you know, you got to keep your eyes down the field. So you're throwing it on time and all that trust in the guys around you, trust in the preparation and the play calls. And, and he's done a lot of, a lot of good there. Um, and he's gotten some help. There's been times that around him, the guys have, you know, stepped up and got the run game going to make it easier on the queue. So there's a lot to manage playing that position. Like you, like you mentioned, especially for a guy that is in his first year of starting. I look at the run of quarterbacks we've played against and the amount of starts those guys have had. There's been a difference there. Um, but it's not all all comes down to just who's got the veteran quarterback. As a team, we got to play better, more complimentary football to be able to finish some of these games out on the on the right side of the scoreboard. Yeah, so this is uh this is Aiden's uh first year, so you know, full starter. I know you there's a thing in football, especially called load management, how much you put, you know, you put on his plate. Does he have that right now? Does he have the ability to go to the line and, and uh, check into he different does. plays? Yep. Yep. We've slowly uh, kind of added to his package there and he's done it. You know, game one, we had some stuff where he's changing at the line of scrimmage that is, that has grown as, the season's gone on, whether we're talking protection, we're talking a route, we're going from a run play to a pass play, we're going from one run play to another run play, and vice versa, pass to pass, depending on, on coverage. So that menu for him has grown as we've gone. We had a we had an argument in the locker room a lot between the centers and the quarterback. Who's the smartest guy on the field? Yeah. Is it the center who you know checks the protection and everything, or is it the quarterback yeah. who has to know everything? Well, I, you know, <laughs> me being the former quarterback, the quarterback's <laughs> dealing with all eleven guys on defense. The center oftentimes working at that box, so eleven is more than seven. I give it to the quarterback. <laughs> that is great. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to you know the continued growth uh, for um, Aiden Childs. Uh, but hey, Spartan fans. Uh, If you live, work, or go to school in the state of Michigan, you can join MSU Federal Credit Union. Save more and carry the only colors in your wallet with MSU FCU. Open an account today at msufcu.org. MSU Federal Credit Union are the official sponsors of Spartan Athletics. All right. Hey, we have have a trivia question. Uh, who's ready for trivia? Who's excited for trivia? Yeah. This one here, this this trivia question, it's a tough one. I, I was looking around to see who would be the one. It's, it's a little tricky. So there's a, that's your tip right there. So the question, uh, you'll ponder before, while we go to the break. One of the greatest Spartan individual performance of all time came against the Boilermakers when one MSU running back ran for school record 350 yards in the game versus Purdue. Who? What's that Spartan running back? We'll have more conversation with Coach Smith and the answer for the trivia question. Stick around. You're listening to the Auto Owners Insurance Jonathan Smith Show. The U.S. is experiencing the worst blood shortage we've seen in 20 years. Give blood this season, and you can help save up to three lives each time. Join me and Abbott so we can save more lives together. Let's make Spartan Nation the number one blood donor in the big... Strong is the trees that support it. Learn how sustainable forestry protects... Join me as I take a deep dive into the least insulted ticketing app in history, SeatGeek. Did SeatGeek invent the ticket? No, but we do make them work. Drum roll, please. Ooh, how do I use the seat view feature? It shows seats with a pole blocking the view. 
Don't buy those. What if I want to sit behind a pole? Buy those. Mm. Join me as I bore you to death with a series of interviews about a ticketing app that just does what it's supposed to do. The U.S. is experiencing the worst blood shortage we've seen in 20 years. Give blood this season, and you can help save up to three lives each time. Join me and Abbott so we can save more lives together. Let's make Spartan Nation the number one blood donor in the Big Ten. Buying a home. When you don't understand the process, you don't know what steps to take. Money is just scary to begin with. There's so many question marks. I wish there was like a home ownership coach out there. My name's Austin. I'm an executive at Rocket. We're doing a lot, but we can do more just listening to you today. Get real solutions to real concerns. Call 800 4 Rocket. Rocket Mortgage LLC, 11 list number 33, 11 list consumer access.org, equal housing lender license in all 50 states. Hi, I'm Jerry Hodak. I've lived here nearly all my life. Did you know that when you take back your bottles and cans, you reduce waste and save energy? And here's a bonus. It's good for your wallet, too. Last year, Michiganders gave up $105 million in bottle and can deposits, literally throwing their money away. For the environment, for the dime, I urge you to return your bottles and cans. Take them back, Michigan. The dime is worth your time. All right, so we talked at the beginning the trivia question and the instructions for the trivia questions. All right, I'll read it again. One of the greatest Spartan individual performance of all time came against the Boilermakers when one MSU running back ran for a school record of 350 yards in a game versus Purdue. Who was this Spartan? Hi, Jay. Hi, say your name and where you're from. Jill from East Lansing. Yes. I'm, this is what, I'm thinking it's Cedric Urban. That is not correct. Mm. Yes. Uh oh, we have people coming up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, name and where you're from? Uh, Alan from Lansing, uh, Eric Allen. Oh, same last name. <laughs> it, Eric Allen is correct. Uh, Eric Allen rushed for 350 yards versus Purdue in a 43 to 10 win in October, October 30th, 1971. <laughs> so for uh, this week, you know, so for those tickets, make get your uh, tickets, pick them up at Alumni Hall retail location, the Eastwood Town Center in Lansing. All right, so we're back, Coach. Uh, there's a, let's talk about a couple um, a couple guys. Let's you you, you always talk about hitting and, and uh, being complimentary in all three phases of the game. So let's hit on all three phases of the game. Let's start with the special teams. The year that uh, Jonathan Kim's having. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty remarkable. I mean, this guy's been uh, so consistent for us. You know, nominated Lou Groza Award to be yeah. a semifinalist. You don't do that without having a having a great year and this guy has banged through multiple field goals and, and his numbers. You know, nationally. Um, are, are really good. It just is accuracy. I love, I loved his, I would love to have his attempts maybe a little bit lower and we're, we're punching at seven points, but uh, for him to be, you know, 18, I think it's up 20. Yeah. 18 uh, of 20 on the year. That's a, that's a big time year. And uh, he's come through for, for this team uh, every week. And uh, you, he's 18 of 20. This is, this is an impressive stat here. 18 of 20 on field goals attempts this season including he's three of four from 50 yards and, and longer yeah. seven of seven for between from 49 from 40 and 49 yards uh, leads the big 10 and and ranks tie for 11th in, in uh, college football with 18 made field goals that's why this kid is on the Lou girls yeah because yeah. you can tell with those stats okay I've made 18 field goals but we're not just all chip shots here this guy is banging it through from distance he's got a, a game winner under his belt as well you know when we were at maryland there and so he's having a big year he's got a big leg he's doing a really good job on kickoff too sometimes there's not real stats for kickoff where he's you know putting into the end zone and placing the ball he's having a great year 
how how uh, comforting for a coach that when you know you got a kicker that you 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 have that faith and yeah. he he goes on and shows it you know week in and week out. It, you know it's huge for us. You know you get down there, you feel confident that you got points. Obviously they're chasing more, but you know as these games go and separating and scores and the ability to get points on possessions when you cross the fifty, you feel really confident with with Jonathan back there. Yeah, uh, got, we you were listening to the Coach Smith show. Um, Ho uh, hosted by One North Bar in Lansing. Join us for all of the MSU Coaches Show at our Lansing location. Visit onenorth.com. All right, and so let's move on to the offensive side. There's a guy, a uh, receiver. Uh, he's quietly having a good year. You know, he's not getting the splash because, you know, people, you know, always talk about hitting Nick Marsh and those yeah. deep balls that he's been. But this guy here, he's kind of like a – Hard hat, lunch pail kind of guy, Montori Foster Jr. Yep, he's done a lot of good things for us. And, you know, he had a few catches this last week that, you know, catch and, and then run after catch. Been really consistent. He's been doing it around here for a long time. Even, you know, coming in and watching tape from the previous year, this guy's been steady Eddie. He's done a good, nice job on his punt returns, too, making good decisions back there and, and all of that, a leader on this team. Um, and so he's been a, a vital part of this offense, continuing to grow, come together. And he's been a, a you know fifth year player with some leadership capabilities that uh, has been steady Eddie for us. Yeah, uh, Nick had a, a team high of six catches for 76 yards at Illinois to surpass the century mark for career receptions. Uh, he leads all active Spartans with 104 career catches for 1,367 yards and seven touchdowns in 52 games, including 26 starts. Yeah, now you talk about consistency, 26 starts, playing in 50-some-odd games as a college player. He's played a lot of football, and he shows his veteran presence out there. Yeah, and then an another guy on the defensive side, uh, Darius Snow. Come, You know, yeah. he's. I feel like he's finally back. And yeah. you, you're hearing his name a lot on game days. Yeah, you know, he's playing some more, you know, opponents offensively where it fits for his, you know, sch scheme, playing the Sam linebacker position. So he's got more and more reps, continues to show up on, on special teams. You know, he's on this show a couple of weeks ago and representing this place in a, in a great way. And he was heavily involved with uh, kind of what the, what we're wearing this Friday night in regards to the color schemes and all of that. I think Jordan's <laughs> excited about it as, as well. That's what they call in the biz a tease. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll be back to talk more Spartan football on the Auto Owners Insurance Jonathan Smith Show after this break on the Spartan Media Network. So, got one for you, boss. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's black, white, and dented all over? I give up. The company truck. <laughs> I know, I know, but thanks to our agent, we've already submitted an insurance claim and can track the status right from the app. Auto owners pays what they owe without any hassle. Hmm. Lucky for you, that's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. Hey, Spartan fans, the 2024 basketball season is tipping off, and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the courtside celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to MSU basketball games or to any other live event in the state, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official ticket marketplace of the Spartans. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. Skill is a game changer. And when the doctors you know and trust team up with one of the nation's top health systems, the possibilities are endless. Sparrow is now University of Michigan Health Sparrow. So together, we can bring more specialized expertise, more of the latest treatments, and more of the best possible care closer to you. Discover what's possible at uofmhealthsparrow.org. Hey Spartans, when it's game time, it's One North time. Just minutes from Michigan State University, One North Kitchen and Bar is your go-to spot for scratch cooking and world-class hospitality. When you're celebrating a win or catching up with friends, we've got the perfect dish to make every moment special. Join us for the MSU Coaches Shows and get closer to the action with the voices that bring Spartan spirit to life. Visit One North, where Spartan pride meets memorable meals. Coors Light presents To Chill or Not To Chill. When your friend skips your favorite song on the playlist. End the friendship. Or 
Choose chill because that song lives rent free in your head anyway. And you planned ahead by bringing Coors Light to the party. And the sound of that ice cold can cracking open was music to your ears already. Coors Light. Choose chill. Celebrate responsibly. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Welcome back to the Auto Owners Insurance Coach Jonathan Smith Show. Whenever you shop Meyer, you shop for an entire community. You help support food rescue programs and simply give program. Learn more at Meyer.com. Friday night game under the lights in, in East Lansing. And this week's get upcoming game day sponsor is MetroNet. I'm really excited about this, Coach. We got a guy here that I think is an absolute stud on, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, physically, he looks the part. He plays the part. And uh, he's even, you know, dresses with the swag on field. <laughs> All right, our our uh, player guest for today is fifth-year senior linebacker from Farmington Hills, Michigan, out of Farmington High School, Jordan Turner. Hey, thank you. Jordan transferred to Michigan State from Wisconsin in January, and uh, he was voted uh, captain, you know, in August training camp. Um, he leads the team in tackles with 57 and uh, 57 tackles for losses with eight and a half sacks this season. Jordan, heck of a season so far. The see, what do you, what do you, uh, what's your thoughts so far on you know the first uh, you know nine ten games that we've played? I say, like, I love the way our team came out every game, ready to fight and ready to compete to win with, and nobody cared who was in front of us. So I really love that part. You know, we 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 had a lot of tough challenges, especially on the road, but we still, and when adversity hit us, we still found a way to keep fighting and to give our chance. I mean, our team a chance to win. So I really love that. Yeah, absolutely. Now you're a kid that you know from Farmington, from from the backyard here. You chose to go to to Madison, Wisconsin. But you came back, you know, home, uh, you know, which is something that's really cool, really commendable. What was it about Michigan State to br to bring you back here? Well, you know, I always kind of wanted to play uh, for Michigan State so I could stay home. So when I hit the portal and I and I saw that there was an opportunity to come, you know, I, my ears went up. And then I seen a great coach like Coach Smith coming over and Joe Rossi as a DC. You know, I didn't hesitate. I I wanted to come here instantly and, you know, make a mark on this program and turn it over. Yeah, so when you came on your visit, what was that like, you know, getting the opportunity to sit down with Coach Smith, sit down with Coach Rossi? Uh, it was nice. It was great conversations, you know. Uh, me and Rossi, you know, Rossi tried to recruit me out of high school. Didn't want to go to Minnesota. But, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, and then talking, sitting down with Coach Smith, you know, uh, he was also coached by, you know, my former coach. So, you know, we connected in that and, you know, we just had nice conversations. We both had the same vision of what MSU could be. So it was easy to be on board with that. Yeah, absolutely. You talk about that vision. And, uh, you know, we talked uh, the last time I was here, we talked, Coach, about the foundation piece there. And you're you're a guy that, uh, you know, whatever happens when you leave here, you know, the rise of the program, when we ascend, you know, go back to playing Rose Bowls in, in playoffs, you're going to be that foundation piece. And I was, you know, that was similar to my class when I was here. You know, what does that mean to you? You know, setting that stage, you know, Coach Coach uh, Smith's first year here, you're that, you know, his first guy at, at Michigan State. What is that like to be that foundation piece? I'll just say, it, you know, to come in and be that person, like my teammates really welcomed me when I first came in the door. And, you know, that just made me feel like, man, I feel so loved by a team and I just want to give back to them because I know I don't have, I know I don't have a lot of time you know, with them. So I just want to pour as much as I know and as much I can give them so they can, you know, be better in the future. Yeah, that, that's a really good point. You talk about your teammates welcoming you here and something that that I, you know, take pride in. I was um, a captain here. Um, the biggest thing, you know, you can be captains when the coaches choose captains, but when your team chooses you as a captain, that's a separate, that's a different meaning. That's a special meaning. For a guy that just transferred to the program, you know, in January, and then, you know, you had your off-season program, your spring ball, and then in fall camp, you're voted captain by your teammates. What did that mean to you? 
Uh, I mean, right when I uh, they announced it, I, I mean, I cried and I called my pops because, you know, it, that's that's special. Like yeah. somebody just came in in six months and the whole team feels like, you know, they feel comfortable with you, like leading the team out. So, like, that meant a lot to me, especially I had some confidence, you know, it went down after last year. So, you know, it's just nice to see that my teammates think of me so highly and you know, it just makes me want to be like do all of I I mean, do all of I can, you yeah. know, to help them. So I really love that moment. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, that you know, like I said, there's no bigger honor than being voted by your teammates, our captains. Let's talk a little bit about your game. Uh you have that, you know, linebacker mentality, the 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 ability to uh to uh, assess the play before happening, dissect it. You know, where do you get that from and who do you mimic your game after? Um uh, I guess I don't know. I just always love playing football. I started playing, playing I mean football when I was 7. You know, I always played linebacker so like every year I just kind of like build off what I can be better at. Like I love watching Ray Lewis. He, I mean, he was my favorite. <laughs> and then when I was in that middle school, high school era, I really loved watching Ryan Shazier. Okay. Cuz I feel like he changed the game, you know, he was running fast but you know, it used to be a lot of coming downhill hitting, but he also could cover and dissect and replay. So I, I love that. But like, also, I also loved uh, Troy Palomalu. Okay. Like, I love watching his game. So like kind of just incorporating everybody's like little specialty and try to implement it in my game so I can become a better player. Yeah, absolutely. You talk about Ray Lewis and how many times did you emulate Ray Lewis squirrel dance? <laughs> yeah, I can't dance like that. So <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, you know, let's talk a little about, you know, Coach Smith coming to the program. And I know from a head coach, you know, when he comes, when a new head coach comes to the program, you have to set the standard set. You know, the first year is usually the toughest year. But how has Coach Smith made the adjustment, you know, not just for you, but the entire team to make you guys be able to be comfortable and play loose? I guess like bringing it to, bringing the team together like we're one you know like in the first year what we had 60 new guys like the toughest part was coming together as a team so you know in the off season we always were we always was hanging with each other you know working out with each other we had groups competitions you know just we just had like little events that would bring us closer to the team so we can you know gel well and help us uh play better in the season so yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, Jordan, I really appreciate you, uh, you know, jumping on with us today and, uh, you know, making the drive out here uh, on a Wednesday night. Um, you know, when you were growing up, you grew up right down the street. Were there any fa uh, favorite Spartans of yours growing up? Uh, I love watching Le'Veon Bell. Um, let's see, Joe Bocci. I love watching him. Um, Trey Waynes. Okay. Like that defense, I really watched a lot. Uh, what is it? Shaquille Calhoun? Yeah. So I, I really love watching that defense. Um, and uh, I remember LJ Scott, well, Connor Cook, Brian Lewerke, let's see, Cody White. So, you know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really I, I love watching this football. You know, my favorite memory was, uh, you know, when they blocked the kick for the game. You know, that was a crazy moment. Trouble especially, with the snap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, especially living in Michigan, like right. schools couldn't stop talking about it like the whole week. So Right, right. Uh, yeah, so – before we let you go, um, former player to current player, there's a lot still ahead of you guys uh, this season. Uh, when my senior year in your boat, that we were in the similar path. We played Purdue. We beat Purdue to get bowl eligible. You guys, that's one step to the next there. Mm -hmm. So continue to be a leader, and I appreciate you jumping in with us tonight. I will. Thank you for having me. Let's Jordan Turner, everybody. Spartan fans, raise hope and foster dreams by starting your journey to become a foster parent today. Visit michigan.gov slash hope for a home to learn more on how you can support children of all ages in your community. And uh, also, I know everyone in this room, we all bleed green. So do you bleed green? As a part of the global healthcare leader, Abbott and the Big Ten, we give blood drive um, competition. Uh, you can help make MSU Big Ten champions in blood donations and save lives in the process. To learn more, visit BigTen.org slash Abbott or con uh, contact your local blood donation center. Spartan fans, we're just getting started. We're going to be back with more of the Coach Smith Show presented by Auto Owners Insurance, and we're going to talk about uh, Purdue. You're listening to the Spartan Media Network. 
Hey, Dad. Did you get a new haircut or something? A new shirt? You're looking good. Uh-uh. What happened? Um, a little fender bender. How little? A few days in the shop little, but thanks to mom and our agent, we've already submitted a claim and can track the status right from the app. Auto owners pays what they owe without any hassle. Hmm, sounds like simple human sense. I'm fine, by the way. Oh, yeah, I, I was gonna ask. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. I love getting out and trying new things. But my seizures have always kept me back. Thankfully, the providers and researchers at MSU Healthcare work together to get my epilepsy under control. So now I can try anything. At MSU Healthcare, helping you do you is what matters most to us. In fact, it's our mission. Visit healthcare.msu.edu to find a provider. Farm Bureau Insurance invites you inside the green for an exclusive dinner with football coach Jonathan Smith. This unique experience includes a private dinner for one winner and three guests with Coach Smith. The winner also receives a private tour of Spartan Stadium, an autographed football from Coach, tickets to a future home game, and more. For more details and to register, visit InsideTheGreenSweeps.com. Farm Bureau Insurance, proud sponsor of Michigan State Athletics. Is joint pain slowing you down? Imagine waking up and moving through your day pain-free. The orthopedic and sports medicine specialists at McLaren are experts in the latest surgical and non-surgical advances to relieve joint pain and restore movement so you can rediscover the activities you love. We'll help you get back to what moves you. McLaren, the official orthopedic and sports medicine partner of Michigan State Athletics. We're back live for the Jonathan Smith Show, presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Duckett Brother Distribution, a proud, to, a proud sponsor of this year's green team at Spartan Stadium. They will be helping clean Spartan Stadium, concluding each home game this season. Let's lend them a hand by keeping Spartan Stadium green and clean and disposing your trash in the concourse receptacles. Our show comes to you live from One North Kitchen and Bar in Lansing. One North Kitchen and Bar offers curbside pickup. Don't forget, for all the MSU coaches shows, make your reservations by emailing Caleb at onenorth.com. And uh, right at the mic here, we have a question. And once again, if anyone else has a question, step up. If you have a question for Coach, Jordan's going to stick with us for this next segment. We're going to talk a little Purdue. So state your name and where you're from, sir. Dominic from Lansing. And since you were both captains, and we always talk about the difference with the NIL and the portal, how difficult is it to be a captain now, culture-wise, with what's going on with so many players coming and going? Well, I'll just say, you know, for us, it's like a first year of a whole new staff. So, like, there's a lot of turnover, new guys. So it's kind of like – and there's guys coming from, like, everywhere in the country. So they used to hear one voice. Now they got to get adjusted to another voice, you know, our, our head coach. So, you know, I guess the adjustment part and the time it takes to get acclimated to your new team, your new teammates, your new coaches, you know, I say that was the toughest part. You know, I think about two captains, uh, oftentimes there's outside distraction, right? And the idea of keeping the main thing, the main thing. And so the main thing is, you know, being a great teammate, going to work, and we got to do this thing together. And now you're right, the portal, the NIL, all that's like kind of an outside distraction, the ability to, it's a different distraction than maybe when I was a captain, we weren't talking about those things. Uh, but, the you know, the role of the, of the captain is kind of keep the group focused on the main things. And uh, Jordan's done a done a great job of that Thank you, absolutely thanks Thank dominic you. uh we have another question harriet dean i know who you <laughs> hi coach i'm harriet i'm originally from flint so i'm a flintstone but i live here in lansing now i like to scout the incoming team so i was looking at purdue they've had a tough schedule they played a lot of top 10 teams they've had like three or four 200 yard rushing games they're averaging almost six yards per play and they're yeah. third in the big 10 in punting so what's keeping you awake about Purdue this week? Well, a lot of what you described, because they the, to start with the point you made, they've had a tough schedule, similar to us, 
But you look at, you know, they've played Notre Dame. They've played Oregon, who I think is maybe number one now. They've played Ohio State. They've played Penn State. And so you can play pretty well and still come up short against those guys. I'd look at them. They've played Illinois at, you know, at Illinois and took them to overtime where we had our struggles last week. And so we know this thing's going to be a challenge. They can run the ball, not just with their backs, but the quarterback part of it. And, you know, Jordan could speak into this. They got multiple quarterbacks that have been a part of that run game. and They've had some success. You look at their stats moving the ball. It's not awful. It really isn't what, you know, they've had similar to us, uh, some struggles in the red zone of, of punching the thing in. And, and, and so we're going to have our work cut out for us. I, I, you know, I fully believe this, our team is aware of the challenge that that's coming in here. Cause this is probably one of the best one in nine teams I've ever seen player or coach my whole career. Well, Harry, let me just rip my notes up here. You asked all the questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's a, that's a great question. And, um, you know, so let's look at, you know, their fifth year senior um, senior quarterback, uh, Hudson Card, uh, transfer uh, from from Texas. Texas. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, how, well, first question for you, Coach, how hard is it now? Like if you're scouting a guy that you have to go back a couple, you know, different teams to see what yep. they do, different schemes. It's it's common now, a little bit more common, I should say that. Yeah. They, you know, someone you're you're looking at uh, has been at, at multiple places, but you do heavily focus on the, the current year, especially now that we're late in the year. He's got a lot of tape out there. He's more than capable of throwing the ball. He can move his feet. They'd like to put another quarterback in there. Jordan can speak with knowledge to this. 15 comes in the game, a little bit more heavy on the, the quarterback run game with the, with him, but both those guys are very capable skill sets wise and, and, and can do some stuff. And then again, you complement both those quarterbacks with a run game. They got a good back that can carry it and, He's got good numbers, um, and so you know defensively, you, we got our work cut out for us, and we're gonna you know be on our yep. be in our A game. Yeah, Jordan, what do you, what do you see when you're when you're breaking down? You know, for people you know in here, a lot of people don't really see. They see what happens on Friday and Saturday nights. You know, the plays mm-hmm. happen, the behind the scenes, the practice, the 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 mental side of the game of football. How do you break down film? I guess I'll I'll start by you know watching a full game and kind of getting a feel for like how they do coming out the game or like before timeouts, kind of the situations. But then also I go down by like tendencies by formations and then see what they do in certain backfields or certain locations of the running back. So, and also, you know, we come in extra day, you know, we talk with Rossi or we just watch as a whole group and we just find out, we just talk off, bounce off ideas that what we see from the quarterback or running back, any tips that we can get so we can get an advantage. Uh, when it comes to the game day. Yeah, absolutely. And a question for both uh, you, Jordan, and Coach. From from a coach's perspective and from a player's perspective, you have a, a short week, you know. How do you prepare, you know, you don't have the extra day for prep. The players still have to get their day of rest, you know, in there. How do you prepare, you know, for a, a shorter week? Yeah, the way we adjust it on a short week is really combining um, – the day after the game. So Sunday was going to come combination of Sunday and Monday. So it's a little, it's a lot harder on the coaches than the players. Now the body's a little different, right? It's a short amount of time for these guys, but in regards to preparation and all the game planning that goes on, we, we just made it a full day on Sunday that would we normally do Sunday and Monday combined. And so we went back to work for practice on Monday, which would normally have been Tuesday. That's why I'm back to it's not as easy on these guys' bodies. We were a little bit lighter on Monday, didn't put shoulder pads on. But then our Tuesday practice was like a normal Tuesday for, you know, with, with shoulder pads and going. And then you're kind of back into your normal rhythm in regards to leading up, uh, leading up to the game. All right. And uh, Jordan, real quick, how about you? Yeah, you, like Coach said, like, you know, we combine one day. So, like, uh, you know, we're missing a day of rest. But, you know, Coach built it in our practice. So, you know, you kind of get your bodies back before the game ends. And kind of like you just got to do everything a day earlier. So perfect. Once again, uh, guys, this the microphone here. If you have a question for Coach, you have a question for, for Jordan, um, you know, feel free to jump out, jump up and, uh, you know, ask that question. State, state your name and where you're from and the question. Um, we're going to continue to break down Purdue. Uh, you're listening to the Auto Owners Insurance Coach Jonathan Smith Show. We'll be right back. The U.S. is experiencing the worst blood shortage we've seen in 20 years. Give blood this season, and you can help save up to three lives each time. Join me and Abbott so we can save more lives together. Let's make Spartan Nation the number one blood donor in the Big Ten. 
Join me as I take a deep dive into the least insulted ticketing app in history, SeatGeek. Did SeatGeek invent the ticket? No, but we do make them work. Drum roll, please. Ooh, how do I use the seat view feature? It shows seats with a pole blocking the view. Don't buy those. What if I want to sit behind a pole? Buy those. Mm. Join me as I bore you to death with a series of interviews about a ticketing app that just does what it's supposed to do. The U.S. is experiencing the worst blood shortage we've seen in 20 years. Give blood this season, and you can help save up to three lives each time. Join me and Abbott so we can save more lives together. Let's make Spartan Nation the number one blood donor in the Big Ten. When you're a foster parent, you play a lot of roles. Provider, giving a foster child a safe home, healthy meals, and hope. You're always there. You're a cheerleader. Your family. You would do anything for a child in your care. Every day is different. Every need is different. But one of the most impactful roles you can play in life is being a foster parent. See why at michigan.gov slash hope for a home. A message from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services. Hey, got one more, Labatt? Uh, yeah, here you go. Yo, got one more? Sure, um, who are you? Hey, have any more? I'll take one. Got another Labatt? Got one more? How did you all get in my house? Dude, door was open. Heard you had some Labatt. Yeah, in the fridge. Crack some Labatt, make some friends, and see where it takes you. Always enjoy responsibly. Beer, Labatt USA, Buffalo, New York, all rights reserved. Labatt registered, U.S. trademark of Labatt Brewing Company Limited. We're live from Lansing for the Jonathan Smith Show, presented by Auto Owners Insurance. By the way, if you miss any of the coaches' show and want to, or you want to go back, you know, because I was so so entertaining, Jordan was so good, and you want to go back and re-listen to it. If you asked a question and want to hear it again, you know, be sure to do that. Uh, look up uh, Spartan Media Network anywhere you get your podcasts. We have one. Uh, we have another question from Jill. It's not really a question; it's a comment. Okay. I just want to encourage all the Spartan fans out there. We need you. Friday night to be our 12th man. Yeah. So let's come and cheer these guys on. You've heard how the, behind the scenes, how hard they work every day. They're just asking for three to four hours of our time to come out and support them. So let's do that, okay? Friday night and a week from Saturday. Go green. Yes, Go, right. white. Go white. I'll be there. I'll be there. <laughs> All right, frankly, Frankly, you'll want to join us for Michigan Sports Brief Program every weekday on Spartan Media Network stations across Michigan, presented by Frank and Muth Insurance. Start Frank conversation about your insurance with one of our local independent agents. Visit fmins.com. All right. Hey, we're going to still talk Purdue. We got to wrap up. Coach is going to give us some keys to the game for Friday night. We're going to talk about, you know, the 12th man and what it means, that impact it has on the players on the field. So we'll be back with more of the Auto Owner Insurance, Jonathan Smith Show, after this on Spartan Media Network. So got one for you, boss. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's black, white, and dented all over? I give up. The company truck. <coughs> I know, I know, but thanks to our agent, we've already submitted an insurance claim and can track the status right from the app. Auto owners pays what they owe without any hassle. Hmm. Lucky for you, that's simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if auto owners make sense for you. From our farm fields to the football field, Michigan soybeans touch every life every day. From the food we eat to the products we use and the cars we drive, soybeans are making an impact. The Michigan Soybean Committee is dedicated to helping our farmers grow the soybeans needed for a more sustainable future while working at the forefront of innovation to develop new uses. To learn more about the Michigan Soybean Committee's initiatives, please visit us at michigansoybean.org. Skill is a game changer. And when the doctors you know and trust team up with one of the nation's top health systems, the possibilities are endless. 
Sparrow is now University of Michigan Health Sparrow. So together, we can bring more specialized expertise, more of the latest treatments, and more of the best possible care closer to you. Discover what's possible at uofmhealthsparrow.org. From the biggest of big games to the littlest of the little. There you go, go! Run, James! No, 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 first base! Go, go, go! Whenever you shop Meyer, you help support hundreds of local sports teams across the Midwest. From some of the biggest stadiums in the state to the familiar fields down the street, you're helping make a difference to the people and places you call home. Learn more at Meyer.com slash community. Welcome back to the Jonathan Smith Show, presented by Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners, simple human sense. Ask your independent agent if Auto Owners makes sense for you. A reminder, we'll be on air this Friday across the state uh, when Michigan State takes on Purdue. Join us live on the Spartan Media Network for the kickoff show at 6.30. The next Coach Smith Show will be Wednesday. Uh, November 27th at 7 p.m. here at One North. want to see all you back here. I don't care if you're making pies or not. Everyone back here. I'll be back here next week. Uh, quick question. How you doing, Coach Smith? Yeah, good. Uh, I'm Vincent Cook. I'm uh, actually a teacher and football coach here at Grand Ledge High School on the west side of Lansing. Uh, I just I don't want to get want you get ahead of your season here. You got a couple weeks left in the season, but uh, just curious in terms of recruiting. Um, obviously the state of Michigan has always been a, you know, kind of a hot spot. I think overlooked in recruiting, uh, D'Antonio, I feel like always did a great job of recruiting the state of Michigan. Um, but also the, the greater Lansing area. I know you got Sean Foster, gotta give him a shout out from Grand yeah. Ledge. Yeah, Sean. Uh, you got a few guys from Lansing Catholic. Uh, you got, uh, Joseph Martinez from Holt. You got a couple guys from East Lansing. I know Jace Clarizio is committed, uh, from East Lansing, but going into the off season, just curious, uh, how, how much you value uh, recruiting not only the state of Michigan but the greater Lansing area. Yeah, really important. I think we wanted to you know continue to build inside out on this roster. There is quality football getting played in this state. I think we want to have as many as we can that are you know fit our place and are really good. That playing for the state school means something to them. So we want to do a, a good job of having a lot of guys on the roster that are that are close to home. All right, coach. We're we're out of time. Out of time. We, all right, we're out of time. Uh, if you want to know the keys to the game, be there on Friday. Thank you for joining us on the Coach Smith Show. The Auto Owners Insurance presents.